So you got one of these sisters that's going to come out and, you know, Kevin Samuels have been, you know, passed away, you know, for, you know, some time. And yet these women are still talking about Kevin Samuels, you know, and, and I, 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 I don't, I don't get that. I mean, Kevin Samuels hurt y'all that much by telling y'all the truth about yourself and putting you in your place and, and letting you know to get your head out of the clouds and come down to planet earth and have some reality in what you're thinking. But let's review it. Ladies, if he mentions Kevin Samuels or the Passport Bros. Okay, before she gets started, if he mentions Kevin Samuels or the Passport Bros, Kevin Samuels held y'all to account on your unrealistic, unrealistic expectations. Kevin, you know, also got at y'all about, you know, health and, and fitness. Kevin had his opinions that I agree with every single opinion. Kevin Samuels. No, of course not. I mean, I don't agree with everything that people say like people don't agree with everything that I say. And she said, if he mentions the passport bros, passport bros really came into fruition after the death of Kevin Samuels, because the way you women responded to his death by celebrating the man's death, dancing on his grave and everything else that you were selling, you know, you were doing at that time period and men say, Oh hell no. And, and really with the passport bro thing, Men not even begging you to change no more. See, Kevin was trying to get y'all to change. Kevin was trying to get y'all to see the error in y'all ways. Um, and you didn't want to do it. So now, you know, really Kevin was the last of, of, of men that's going to do that. Now you got men today saying, do you, I don't care. I'm out of here, but let's continue with, with uh, this Latina is saying. She follows Drew follow run for the Hills. If she doesn't have a father run for the Hills. Whoa. She said, if they ain't got a father, well, you start. Hmm. She doesn't believe men are the prize or supposed to be leaders run for the hills. Well, that, that right there alone, see, this is why a lot of men are getting their passports because the, in, in the Western society, men is not supposed to be men in Western society. In Western society, they want to practice a gynocracy except, except for positions of power, like corporations except at like military, except in uh, certain forms of government. But when it comes to the rest of American society, they wanted a gynocracy. And the reason why they wanted it like that was because women are easier to manipulate and control. Men is going to rebel. Men is going to fight back. That's just really what it is. So they say, let's get the men in a subservient position. Let's raise the women up. And it teaches women not to fall under the, the, God given, uh, ordained leadership of men that's been presented, you know, even in the Bible. She doesn't believe that it's happy couple, happy life run for the Hills. Men, if she doesn't go to the gym, run for the Hills. If so now she's touching on another aspect that, you know, cause they used to say a happy wife, happy life. Well, like you said, it should be, it should be happy together. And also the area of health. If you do not take care of your overall health, you're going to become a financial burden to yourself. Um, you can cause other financial burdens. Like for instance, you're in the hospital all the time and then your husband uh, is going to have to be over there with you uh, and vice versa. If a man don't take care of his health, you know, it could be the same thing. Medications is very expensive. Um, you know, all kinds of things that can happen to you, right? Or you can pass away a lot sooner than what you should have because of you not taking care of your overall health. So yes, health is a very, very important thing. And fellas do not get with, you know, a woman that does not care about her overall health. No, don't, don't do that. Doesn't know how to cook home cooked meals, run for the effing hills. If she doesn't know what nurturing is, run for the hills. If Yes. Cooking is very important because you cannot give your kids Burger King, McDonald's and everything else on a daily basis. It has been proven. Those foods are full of chemicals. Listen, you don't want to eat food that they can have a freaking hamburger, set it somewhere and come back 20 years later. And the thing is still there looking intact after 20 years. You don't want to put nothing in your body like that. It's a reason why fr fruits and vegetables have a time and then they die off. Is because it's supposed that's the natural order of things. You understand what I'm saying? You you mean to tell me you're smarter than God? No, you're not. So 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 a woman that's gonna give your kid uh, something like that, don't even cook no kind of meal. I understand it once in a while, okay, fine, but all the time, no. She got to know how to cook. That's why I like that pandemic because during the time of that pandemic, when it closed in restaurants, there was no more of that going to the restaurant deal. You it made it made them realize. Wait a minute, I gotta cook. 
and you had them asking people how to make rice. And they say, hey, go to YouTube. YouTube will tell you. Can YouTube University is, is good. Doesn't know five love languages to run for the hill. If she cannot name 10 books, run for the hills. Most men don't care about love languages or uh, 10 books beyond with you, but we continue. If her whole identity is social media and posting bikini pictures for the whole world to see and seeking validation, run for the hills. Now, I agree with her 100%. If the woman you you talking to every other day, she's posting something on social media. She's always in, you know always on social media, right? Then obviously, and we, we talking about not as a, as a, a single woman, but even in a relationship with you. What is she doing? What is, why is she advertising so much? You know what I'm saying? I'm saying uh, women. A lot some women are narcissistic. They they want to always have themselves in the mirror, always you know wanting validation, whatever. You don't need no woman to, to validate anything. Think about it. The women that really got something going on, a lot of times don't post nothing on social media. They really don't. It's rare if they do. If this woman says, oh, I believe in equality, but never splits anything with you, run for the hill. She thinks going out and drinking and partying all the time is a lifestyle. Run for the hill. Okay. Now, there's, there's scriptures that teach basically that people who party all the time will surely come into poverty is because think about it. When you go out to drink, those drinks, a lot of times 10 to $15. If you're the type of person who's always drink, you like to drink the whole time, you're there for hours, you're drinking, you can end up spending two or $300. Not to, and then you want to eat after the, the, the place you're going to. Right. Um, and what, what if the type of person that got in trouble? Cause some people don't know how to be adults and then end up getting a DUI. And then now it's going to cost you even more money because now you got a DUI and, and, and a lot of states not playing with DUI. They're not playing with that whatsoever. So you can get in trouble that way instead of saying, Hey, I'm going to just drink at my house. I'm going to chill at my house. Right. You know? No. So, so if you all, if, if, if you always going out 24, always, you know, just constant, 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 constantly, I'm like, where the money coming from? And then you wonder why you end up being broke down the line. And then some of these places they go, you know, violence break out. You know, it's not like they go into a certain place where it's a certain upper echelon of people. So yeah, it, it's just, she's a hundred percent right. If she, she's, if you see her always going out to the doggone nightclub, no fellas, she, she doesn't qualify. If she thinks, Hey babe, go ahead and put on a different out for me. It's controlling run for the hill. Well, anyone that's controlling, especially a, a woman that's, that's, that's completely out of order. No woman will be controlling no man, none, none whatsoever. But you know, she brought up a lot of good points. She brought up a lot of good points, but, but this is the thing, fellas, um, maturity is everything. And I hear some of y'all, especially some guys as my age and older, you want some younger women. And, and I guess if that's, that's on you, I guess, cause I look at it at just me, I look at it as kind of weird because I have a 23 year old and I know the mentality of a 23 year old and, and I, I, me just as a man, I couldn't do that. But. I, I guess if you're going to do that, I guess, you know, late twenties, like 28 to 30 range, I guess, if you're going to say that, but you just got to be careful. This just, just got to be careful because certain age ranges, certain women aren't mature. They're not. And, and, and then you wonder why you have certain problems out of, them. you know, if you're not, you're a 23 year old young man and you deal with somebody your own age. Okay. Both of y'all not mature, but you know, like I say, I just, I just hear this big promotion of, of men, you know, going with younger women. And I'm like, you know, I hear some men say they want to mold them. Like I'm not mold them. I mean, they're not a child. I mean, they, they should just approach life as how they approach life. And I guess I've been, never been the type of person, you know, I like women to be smart, you know, like my wife, she's hella smart. <laughs> you know, I, I don't like somebody that I, I'm the only smart one in the room. No, I like another person that's smart, just as smart as me. Cause then we can, you can feed off each other. Right. But when you're looking for somebody, what she's saying is definitely consider what she's saying, you know, in a lot of ways, if y'all looking, but like I said, even if you go into other countries, you still got some of those issues too. Don't think because you go overseas, women aren't women, but let me know what y'all think about, you know, what she's saying. And, um, you know, you agree with, and I know the obvious, like I said, she, even though I agree with her, I see all the neck tattoos and the chest tattoos and all that. Cause you know, that's, that's something we talk about over here. Like, I don't know why certain women mark themselves up in that way. It doesn't make any kind of sense. It doesn't look respectful.